nothing like getting married, boys. Makes a man take stock of himself. Break with his bad habits. Reform, if you know what I mean. It's a little late for that, isn't it, California? Oh, better late than never. Hmm, what a day for a wedding. A lovely bride awaiting at the end of the trail. Too bad we gotta do without a church. Will you quit worrying? At least we're gonna have a minister. Ah, but it ain't the same, son. A wedding without no church is like Thanksgiving without no turkey. Relax, will you? Lucky's the one that's getting married, not you. Yeah, but he's too young to know what he's doing. Besides, how's he gonna get along without us? Or us without him. Hey, now wait a minute. You two sound as if I was never gonna see you again. Why, as soon as we're married, we'll settle down the ranch with Mary's uncle. And before you know it, you'll be coming to visit us. Yeah, see, how about this, Uncle Jim? I hope he's got the cash ready to make the down payment on that ranch, because you ain't. Well, you stop worrying. Why, he's got enough gold to buy a spread as big as the bar 20. Didn't you know Lucky was a fortune hunter? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take Mary if she didn't have a dime. Speaking of that, let's get along and see if you're American cook. <laughs> didn't you ask her if you... Last chance in, huh? This is it. Sure be glad to see Mary. It's a hobby. What'll I say to her? Nothing. Is that all? <laughs> you sure this is the right place, Lucky? Sure. All the prospectors live here. There isn't another place within a hundred miles. Well, maybe we got here too early. Doesn't seem to be anybody up yet. I can't understand it. Mary said to be sure and get here by daybreak. Her uncle wanted to have an early wedding so we could get away before noon. Maybe we got here too late and Mary's had to change heart. Same thing happened to me. Oh, don't bring that up again. Hello, anybody here? You sure this is an inn, not a funeral parlor? What can I do for you, gentlemen? Oh, hello there, Lucky. Hi, Mr. Potter, glad to see you. Mr. Potter owns this place. I want you to meet Mr. Cassidy, my best man, and Mr. Carlson. How do you do, sir? Do Howdy, you? Mr. Potter. Where's Mary? Where's the minister? He left about an hour ago. What? Why? Miss Benton didn't feel like getting married, I guess. I can't understand it. Where is she? Where's her uncle? Mr. Benton's been gone all morning. Couldn't say where. Oh, he'll be back in a little while. Nothing to worry about. Oh, Lucky. I'm so glad you're here. Mary, what happened? Uncle Jim isn't here. I'm terribly worried about him. Oh, he'll show up in time for the wedding. But you don't understand. He didn't just go away. All of his things are in his room. His horse is in the barn. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, now, don't you worry. Mary, I want you to meet Mr. Cassidy and Mr. Carlson. Howdy, Miss. How do you do, Mr. Cassidy? Hello, Mary. I'm awfully sorry this had to happen to upset you. Is there anything I can do for you? Thank you. I don't believe there's anything we can do but just hope and wait. Oh, but you might be wasting valuable time. Could I see your uncle's room? Certainly, anything you say. Down this hallway, please. I don't think Mr. Ben would approve of my letting strangers into his room. Well, Mr. Potter, I think this young lady has a right to show her uncle's room to anyone she wants to. I guess that includes me, too. <laughs> if you don't mind. This is it, Mr. Cassidy. Is this your uncle, miss? Yes, Mr. Cassidy. When did you first find that your uncle wasn't here? The minister arrived early this morning and someone came down to uncle's room to get him. I heard his name being called repeatedly and 
I came down to see what was the matter. He must be someplace close by, and we'll help you find him. Sure, we'll help you. We'll do our best, Miss Benton. Thank you, Mr. Cassidy. Come on, Mary. You think it's something serious, Hoppy? I hope not. But people don't just vanish into thin air, you know. Hmm. I'll say they don't. Wouldn't care to sleep in this room. It's kind of drafty. I don't feel any draft. Well, must be my old rheumatism acting up. I told you to put an extra blanket on you last night, but of course you wouldn't listen. Oh, rugged, huh? But there is something in this room. I can feel it in my bones. It's only your imagination. Next you'll be seeing things. Well... Hoppy, I am seeing things. Who are you? My name's Duke. I'm the handyman. If you want anything, call me. Thanks for letting us know. Anything you want? For me? Oh. Say, uh, when was the last time you saw Mr. Benton? Last night at the supper table. Ah, oh, come on now. You can do better than that. Could be I saw him kiss Miss Mary goodnight. Yeah? What time was that? Around 10 o'clock. Did you see anything unusual during the night? No, sir. When I sleep, I sleep. Thanks, Duke. You've been a great help. Now I understand everything. We better join the others. What do you think, Hoppy? I think I'm going to need my guns. Will you get my saddlebag? Uh oh. Oh, Mr. Cassidy. Yes. Find anything? Not a thing. I was just telling Earl that Benton will probably show up pretty soon, and then the laugh will be on us. I'm Earl Wesson, Mr. Cassidy. I've heard a great deal about you from Lucky. How do you do, sir? My partner and I are working a claim a short ways from Benton's. I took the day off to be on hand for the wedding. Too bad this had to happen. Yes, it is. You say your claim is next to Benton's? That's right. Are you going back to your place? Nothing else for me to do under the circumstances. I wonder if you'd mind taking me along. I'd like to have a look at Benton's mine. Certainly not. I'd be glad to. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, California. Oh, Mr. Wesson, this is Mr. California Carlson. Howdy, Wesson. How do you do, sir? Will you tell the others I'll be back later? Sure, but don't you think you ought to eat something first? No, I'll eat later, but don't let that spoil your appetite. <laughs> don't you worry, it won't. <laughs> spoil. Mr. California Carlson. Where? Where is that kitchen? Did you and your partner come out here the same time as Benton? No, he was already working his claim. His niece joined him later. Nice girl, isn't she? She certainly is. I was courting her myself, but she turned me down. Your friend sure is a lucky boy. Too bad you lost out. Oh, I've gotten over it. I just hope Benton turns up so that they can get married. You any idea of where he is? You got me there, Cassidy. Your guess is as good as mine. Our claim's a short ways further down. Uh-huh. You any idea what Benton did with his gold? He never discussed his personal affairs with me, but I suppose it's stashed away somewhere, same as ours is, till we get a chance to take it into town. I see. I think I'll take a look inside. I'd better go with you. You might get lost. All right. Oh, 
wait a minute. We better take one of these lamps. That's quite an invention, huh? vain too, but it's just about run out now. No. You can't move him till the sheriff gets here. Suppose I get my partner and send him after the sheriff. Meantime, you and I can try to pick up the killer's trail. All right, go ahead and get him. I'll wait here. Think you'll be safe? I think so. Just as you say. We'll be back as soon as we can. Right. What's up, Cassidy? You all right? Well, sure, I'm all right. This is my partner, Bart Lansing. How do you do, sir? How do you do? You just missed Benton's killer by a few minutes. He's someplace in there. Oh, then he's gone. That mountain is crisscross with tunnels leading out of here. Well, why don't we see if we can pick up his trail? It suits me, Cassidy. You know, I hold no brief for this type of killer. Neither do I. Let's go.
Howdy, miss. Uh, sit down and rest a little bit. Where's Mr. Cassidy? Where's Lucky? Well, they were now looking for your uncle. Maybe by now one of them's found him. Oh, I hope you're right. But I'm afraid something's happened to Uncle Jim. He'll never come back. Oh, you don't know Hoppy and Lucky. When they set out to do something, they do it. So don't you worry. I can't help it. I'm all mixed up. Even about Lucky. But what about Lucky? What's wrong about him? I can't say exactly. Yesterday, I was sure I wanted to get married. Today, I don't know. Oh, I love him just as much as before. But everything seems different now. Nothing's changed between us. But somehow, things just aren't the same. I know just what you mean. Just what did she mean? Yesterday, she was sure. Today, she don't know. She loves him, but it's different. Nothing's changed, but it ain't the same. Go, go on that, Spursland. What are you mumbling she... about? Hi, Hoppy. What's a good word? It's all bad, California. Where's Lucky? He went out on his own looking for Benton. Well, he could have saved himself the trouble. We found him. He's dead. And Mary was right after all. She said she knowed he'd never come back. She did, huh? Well, maybe that's a woman's intuition. Or it could be. A or... uh, woman, uh, Hoppy, what was that you said to you? Intuition. Sometimes people know things without any obvious reason. They just sense them. Yeah, sure. You're always getting into trouble. It wasn't my fault, I tell you. You had no business coming back here. Where else could I go? I don't care where you go. As long as you stay away from here, do you want to get us both into trouble? You're my brother, aren't you? You get out of here. And no more arguments. I'll be delighted. Got any cash? You've got a nerve. Well, how much you need this time? That depends on just how many miles you want between us. All right. I'll think about it. Give me a hand. Hello, Mr. Potter. Getting a little fresh air? Yeah. Can't stay indoors all day long. <coughs> My brother Larry, Mr. Cassidy. How do you do? Hello, Mr. Cassidy. It must be nice to have a brother around to help out. Well, I don't know about that. Well, doesn't Larry run the place for you? Uh, no, I'm, I'm only visiting here. Larry's in another line of business. He doesn't like the desert. Life is too quiet around here to suit him. I see. To the stables, Larry. It's certainly been a nice, peaceful day. I never thought things would turn out this way. Top of everything, I'm keeping you in California from going back to Bar 20. Well, you can forget about that. You know, we wouldn't think of leaving you now. Of course we wouldn't. Thanks. I wish I could help Mary. She's not taking it very well. I haven't even told her yet that her uncle's dead. Well, that can wait till tomorrow. What I'm concerned about right now is getting a hold of the murderer. Do you suspect anyone? No, not yet. But it looks like Benton was killed right in this place. And whoever did it got his gold, too. How do you figure that? Well, the killer certainly wouldn't have silenced the only person who could tell him where to find it. Well, then why did he take the body all the way out the mine? I don't know, Lucky. Unless he figured it wouldn't be found for some time. But I upset his plans. The way I figured, whoever done it's miles away from here by now. You're it... all wrong, California. I have good reason to believe that the murderer isn't too far away. He might be right in this inn. Holy smoke, that's a fine bedtime story. Now, don't worry about it. He knows better than to hide in this room. Well, I hope so. You would pick this place to get married. If... Now, what was that? Or my hearing things? Or... I'll be right back. Come in. What are you doing here? I need a room for the night. I thought you and I were through for good. We are, but let's not bring that up again. Are you going to put me up? Sure, I'll put you up. 
for Jesse Williams. Well, Cassidy. <laughs> My, but it's good to see you. What brings you to this part of the desert? Well, I staked out a claim up in the hill and I just panned it dry. Everybody's getting rich around here except me. And what could have brought you here, Hoppy? Don't tell me the gold ones got you too. Oh, you know me better than that, Jesse. Ranching is my business. A friend of mine is supposed to get married here today. Yeah, I know, to the Benton gal. Did her uncle turn up yet? How did you know about that? Well, bad news travels fast. It wouldn't be the first time a man's disappeared from here. But Benton didn't just disappear. He was killed. Did you say killed? Yeah, I found his body in the mine. Your room's ready, Jesse. All right, Potter. Best room off the hall. Thanks for putting me up. Don't thank me. You're lucky it was vacant. Jesse, before you go in here, I want you to know that this room belonged to Benton up till this morning. That so? Yeah. What do you know about this place? There was a prospect that disappeared when I was here before. He ain't been found yet. Well, that's funny. Potter didn't mention that this morning when I was looking for Benton. Well, you wouldn't expect him to admit it, would you? He might as well close down the place once a rumor like that gets around. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, good night, Hoppy. I'll see you in the morning. Right, Jessica. By the way, keep one eye open, will you? I sure will. <laughs> Ain't Mary coming down for breakfast? No, the excitement was too much for her. That's understandable. Poor girl. I sure be glad to see old Jesse again. I remember when we was running wild horses in the Badlands. One time we corralled more than 500 head between the two of us. Every time he tells that story, there are more horses. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what's keeping Jesse? Probably still dreaming about his gold. Maybe I better go call him. Excuse me. Jesse, wake up. It's time for breakfast. Nobody in this room, Mr. Cassidy. Well, I happen to know different. Where is Williams? He left early this morning. Said he was sorry, but he couldn't wait and asked me to tell you goodbye. I see. Thanks. Where's Jesse? He's gone. Larry told me he left early this morning. Said to say goodbye to everybody. By the way, where's your partner? Bart's going to town to get the sheriff. Well, I guess I'll be getting back to work. What's worrying you, Hoppy? I can't help thinking about last night, the way Potter talked to Jesse. Sounded like he was threatening him. Why worry about that now, Hoppy? Let's go and track down Benton's murder and put him where he belongs. What's that? Jesse Williams. He was carrying his gold in it last night. You don't mean you think that Jesse's been killed? I'm afraid so. I'm right in this house. For the same person that murdered Benton. Somebody's trying to get rid of the evidence in a hurry. I can't understand why Jesse didn't put up a fight. You're right about that. He would have defended himself if he could. Put this on. Kind of cleaning up a little, eh, Duke? Yeah. Shed's full of junk. Should have been done long ago, but I never got around to it. I'm Sheriff Thompson. And you're Jeff Potter, aren't you? That's the name. You're the new circuit sheriff, right? I hear you've been having some trouble. A man by the name of Benton has been killed and robbed. No trouble here, Sheriff. Benton's been killed in the mine, not in my place. But he's lived here, hasn't he? So I'm going to start from here. Very well, Sheriff. The place is yours. Help yourself. 
I'm Hopalong Cassidy, Sheriff. Maybe I can help you out. Thanks. Know anything about this Benton, Mr. Cassidy? No, not much, but I, I can show you where his body is. And I have reason to believe that my friend Jesse Williams has been killed, too. Another murder. When did that happen? Last night. Maybe you better take me to Benton first, and we'll see about Williams later. I'm ready, Sheriff. We'll go with you, Hoppy. No, you two stay here and keep your eyes open. And Lucky, you better tell Mary about her uncle. Well, I guess I gotta tell her sometime, but I sure don't know how. Wish I could help you. Maybe you can think of the right words, California. Me? Oh, no. You thought the right words when you was asking her to marry you. <clears throat> think up the right ones now. something I've got to tell you. Is it about Uncle Jim? You've got to know it sometime. He isn't coming back. I was afraid of that. I've been putting his things in order. And all the time I had a feeling he'd never return. Honey, let's get married right away. Hoppy will let me keep my job, and that'll keep us going. I just found this. Uncle Jim never told me about it before. Oh? He left me everything he had. But believe me, I don't want his gold. I'd much rather he came back and had it himself. Well, there isn't much gold left anyway now. Oh, yes, there is, Lucky. Uncle had most of it on deposit with a bank in town. From what you've told me, Mr. Cassidy, Benton and Williams were probably killed by the same person. Do you suspect anyone? Well, so far, I have nothing definite to go on. Maybe Benton will give us the answer. The dead sometimes tell more than the living. They certainly do. found Benton, I'm positive. You mean somebody came in here and moved the corpse? Well, apparently. Take this light. Cassidy? You all right, Cassidy? Sure, I'm all right. Sheriff, this is Earl Weston. How do you do? You know Bart Lansing. Sure. Weston was with me when I found Benton. We saw you two riding up toward the mine, but couldn't make out who you were. Can't blame us for not taking any chances, Sheriff. I certainly don't. Not in a place where even the dead aren't safe. Benton has disappeared. What? How's that possible? Well, apparently the same man that shot at me in the mine came back and removed the body. What are we waiting for? There's four of us here to go after him. If he's still around. Well, we got everything to gain and nothing to lose. Let's go. Didn't accomplish very much today. 
were up to me, I'd keep on trailing that killer all night. Well, you don't catch a rattlesnake by rushing head on into it. See you at dinner, gentlemen. Right. Well, sir, there I was, all alone in the burning blockhouse. The Indians are closing in on me. The whole tribe after my scout. I just one bullet left in my Winchester, and that had to go a long ways. I had to get the big chief for bust. I took careful aim. Bing! I got him. Putting the whole tribe of savages to flight just as the walls came a-tumbling down. <laughs> Sounds like you hit the bullseye this time, California. Uh, uh, hi, Alfie. Uh, say, what kept you? It's almost dinner time. You gonna stay with us overnight, Sheriff? I guess I'll have to. That is, if you can put me up. I think I can take care of you. We still have... One empty room. Larry! Larry! Show the sheriff to his room. This way, please. I'll wash up. I'll see you at dinner. I'll tell you something else I have to me. One time I was uh, I was trailing a guy called uh, Two Gun Tommy. Fine dinner, Potter. Well, I've had a long day. I'm going to turn in. Good night. Excuse Good night. me, please. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. I'd like to speak to you, sheriff. Come in, Cassidy. What's on your mind? Is this going to be your room for the night? Yes. Anything wrong with it? Oh, nothing except that Benton's and Williams had it before you. Well, thanks for the warning. But the killer won't have another chance. I know who he is. You know who he is? Who? Potter. You mean Jeff? No, Larry Potter. I know him from Texas. He's wanted there on the same charge. Murder. Well, do you think he recognized you? I'm sure he didn't. Well, when are you going to arrest him? As soon as I get enough evidence to tie him up with the Benton and Williams cases. Yeah, but he might weaken and show his hand before you want him to. That's just what I'm banking on. What about my spending the night here with you? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I have a pair of good eyes and ears and my gun. Yeah, but four eyes and ears are better. I sure appreciate your cooperation, but that would only make Larry suspicious. All right, Sheriff. I guess you know best. Good night, sir. Good night. I don't know what to make of this. I thought I'd figured every angle. Now I've had a talk with Sheriff Thompson, and he thinks it's Larry. And I'm inclined to agree with him. Larry Potter? Yeah. I'm going after him. You'll do nothing of the kind, Lucky. I think Thompson knows what he's doing. But, Hoppy, we ain't just going to stand by and watch, are we? We'll have enough to do when the time comes. Now, you two get some sleep in case Thompson needs us later on. Thanks, Hoppy.
What's going on around here, Cassidy? That's what I want to know. Where's Thompson? What do you want with him at this hour of the night? I don't owe you any explanation. Just tell me where he is. I don't know. And what's more, I don't care. you done with him? Nothing, I swear. Then what are you doing in this room? that Larry? Yeah, he's making a getaway. Keep an eye on Potter. I think he can walk. Potter can walk. Larry had killed Benton, Williams, and Thompson. Now I don't know what to think. Thompson? I'm afraid so. Give me a hand with it. Hoppy, there's something you ought to know. Benton had his gold in deposit in the bank, and he willed it to Mary just before he was killed. Well, how did you know about that? Did she tell you? Yes, but only after I happened to see the will. Oh, I see. Hoppy, you don't think Mary had anything to do with this? I hope not for your sake. All right, Lucky.
Excuse me. What are you snooping around for? Well, I was just... Uh, I thought it was time for breakfast. Where's my brother? He rode off, Mr. Potter. Mr. Castley went after him fast as lightning. You people have been meddling in my affairs ever since you came here. You may be meddling once too often. Duke, take me over to the fireplace. Uh, uh, if you'll permit me, Mr. Potter. Uh, That's mighty kind of you. If you don't mind. I'll fix it. Nothing like a nice fire. I've been waiting for you, Cassidy. What happened to Larry? I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Mr. Potter. Larry was killed. We got there too late to save him. How do I know you're telling the truth? Maybe you killed him yourself. You don't know me very well, do you? So we'll let it go at that. I'm a law-abiding citizen. And this is a respectable place. What gives you the right to act as if you were the law around here? That, Mr. Potter. Unless Thompson shows up, I'll continue the search for him as well as Jesse Williams. Any objections? You can't go in there, Mr. Cassidy. I'm cleaning up. Sure is a funny coincidence, all these happenings in this room. It's more than a coincidence, Lucky. Three men don't disappear from the same room for no reason. Maybe Potter's the reason. After all, he owns the place. That could be. A man doesn't pose as an invalid without a good reason for doing so. How'd you find that out? I found the wheelchair empty. When I went back, Potter was in it. Then why don't we do something about it? I can't do anything till I catch him walking. Who sleeps upstairs? Bart Lansing. Come in. I heard you were here. My partner and I are pulling up the stakes, Cassidy. But first we're going into town to round up a posse, whether Potter likes it or not. Well, thanks for letting me know. You and Lansing go right ahead. All right. See you when I get back. Right. You two stay here and keep an eye on Potter. Now, I might be going all day, but don't worry about me. Where are you going, Hoppy? That depends. Cassidy. I'm sorry I was late. I saved something for you, Hoppy. Duke. No, thanks. I'll just have a cup of coffee. Did you have any luck getting the posse together? Yes, but the men won't get here until sometime tomorrow. I'm sure glad we'll be gone by then. That's what you'd better do, Mr. Cassidy, if you want to take my advice. Can't blame you folks for the way you feel. Seems like there's a curse on this place. I'm afraid you're right, Mr. Potter. How would you like to take over our claim? Yes, we'll let you have a cheap. Now, think about that. But right now, I'm not in the mood to talk business. Well, take your time. Only let us know before we get out of here. Pour me some coffee, Duke. Watch what you're doing. Duke seems a little nervous tonight. Can't say as I blame him, though. I'm all right. How can anyone say that after all that's happened here? If Uncle Jim had never seen this place, he'd still be alive. Your uncle was killed in the mine, Miss Benton. Isn't that right, Mr. Cassidy? That's where we found the body. That part of it is true. But he could have been killed any place. Right here, for instance. 
What about the others? What happened to them, Mr. Potter? We don't know. Or do we? We haven't found them yet, if that's what you mean. Yes, that's what I mean. And until we have, I won't stand for anybody insinuating my place is a man trap. Now, take it easy, Potter. No one is saying that. The only complaint I have with this place is that I can't get a good night's rest. Are you too crowded where you are? No, it's, uh, it's just that I can't stand California snoring. Poppy, I don't snore. I just breathe loud. Uh, well, there's still a vacant room downstairs, if you care to have it. Not that room, Hoppy. Well, what's the matter with that? Well, it's a good idea. I'll take it. Have you gone loco? Hoppy, you can't. What is this, a bad case of jitters? See what I mean, Cassidy? Next, they'll try to make me out a murderer. Oh, if I still had the use of my legs, all this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I've still got two good hands. If I ever come across the man that killed my brother, I'm going to use them. You won't have long to wait, Potter. The killer is right in this room. I don't think I care for any more to eat, gentlemen. Good night, Liz. Neither do I. Good night. I wish I didn't have to spend another night in this place. We won't let anything happen to you. Would you boys give me a hand with my things? Hoppy, why can't you wait for him someplace else? Where else? I'm not going to disappoint him after serving notice that I know he's here. Now, you keep an eye on Potter and Duke. Lucky he wants the others. But, Hoppy, a men have been murdered in this room. I know that, Lucky, and I know some other things, too. Now, don't worry. Worried, Hoppy. I just wanted to see if you were still up and around. I'm all right. Did you notice anything around the house? No, everything's under control. Maybe we better check again.
Drop that gun, Lansing. I've been waiting for you. So that's how you killed those men. Suffocated them while they were asleep. All right, Cassidy, you got me. You're smarter than I thought you were. Not so smart, Lansing. I followed you today. You didn't ride into town to round up a posse. You didn't work your claim either. It was easier to get rich on the other man's work, wasn't it? You know all the answers, don't you? Just used a little common sense. Looks like it didn't use quite enough. Jesse and the sheriff are waiting close by. They're kind of anxious for you to join them. Come on, Cassidy, we haven't got all night. Get going. Get down here, Cassidy. What's the matter, Carlson? Have a bad dream? Why, no, I, 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 I must potter here. Uh, you got two chairs. Certainly. One for sitting and one for sleeping in. Any objection? Why, no, uh, you're welcome to all the chairs you want. You... Excuse me. Hoppy, I heard her. I've had enough of all this. Your pal Cassidy's in trouble. What are you talking about? Come on, maybe we can still help. I'm lucky. Thanks to Duke. You double-crossing rat. I knew I could never trust you. Think I'd wait and let you finish me off like you did, Larry? I'm tired of doing their dirty work. Like spying on you ever since you've been here. If I gotta go to jail, I'll go. You'll pay for this, Duke. You'll be sorry you ever squealed. Ah, that's enough. You'll have time to argue that out before they hang you. Aren't you? Well, Hoppy, I try to get here. You think you can walk back upstairs? Oh, sure. Well, take Wesson with you. And... Oh! I've been thinking about us, Lucky. You belong out here, but I don't. I'd never be happy. What do you want to do? I'm going to take the stage and, and go back east. Well, it's your happiness. That's all that counts. Murdered Benton, Williams, and Thompson. If you need any more information, you can reach me at the Bar 20 Ranch. Well, thanks, Mr. Cassidy, but I don't think we'll have to trouble you anymore. What about him? No, he was instrumental in capturing these two. He'll do his part as a material witness. All right, boys, bring him along. You better get the horses, huh? Yes. Yeah. I think you made a very wise decision, young lady. Thank you, Mr. Cassidy. 
I sure appreciate what you've done. Anytime you and your friends come by this way, you're certainly welcome as my guests. Thank you very much, Mr. Potter. But may I make a suggestion? Sure, anything. If you're going to continue in business here, I think I'd change the name of this place. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. 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 